You know, I happen to like old things. Some old things. And a few of those old things happen to be things that people do not appreciate as much as they should. And I am going to show you how to get certain things up and running on Windows XP SP3. What you're looking at right here is the game Freakout created by Andre Lamoth, and forgive me if I did not pronounce that correctly. And this is from a book in, I think it was copyrighted 2002 for the second edition, called Tricks of the Windows Game Programming Gurus, I believe was the entire title. And I just wanted to show you that this code does compile and it does run, and I'm going to explain why I showed this to you in just a second, excuse me. Okay. I have noticed when I was googling around trying to figure out how to get this to work, and this has been probably the second or third time that I've tried this, because I I went to college between 2004 and 2007, and that was the year that all these awesome, in that kind of early 2000 time period, that all these awesome game programming kind of books came out. Well, maybe not awesome. Some of them maybe didn't work all that well, but I think that they all can be made to work with proper setups, and, you know, if you have some knowledge of how to code properly, um, you know, but in Lamoth's case, I think that the code is done very well, and I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I haven't had to add a single line of code to get that to work. I want you to understand that. And I have a collection of books from this time period, and some that I most recently bought, that, you know, I wanted to be able to take my basics knowledge of programming and I wanted to move on to the next step and I didn't want to learn like database programming or web programming or any of that boring crap that you find in most of the C++ books out there. I'm not interested in business. I'm interested in programming games and in graphics. And yes, I know the age-old argument that it takes you a hundred years to make one game by yourself or something like that. I don't know what the actual limit is. I understand that. I'm not thinking that I'm going to make the next Quake or Doom anytime soon, but I want to be learning the intermediate and advanced areas of programming in the, with the focus being where I am interested, what, what holds my interest. My interest is not held by databases and endless technical terms and a bunch of jargon. I'm sorry. It doesn't hold my interest, and I want nothing to do with it. So I have these books that I'd like to get running, and every time that I try to put a post out at Game Dev, at Dream and uh, maybe not Dream and Co, but Game Dev, and Stack Overflow is a really beast. It's it's especially nasty site in my opinion. Um, you know, I always get complaints about why you get a newer book, you know, and complaints about how old the book is. And and I recently, when I was googling around trying to figure out how to get this to work, I found complaints on how bad Lamoth is in his coding, how his code never compiled and using his, you know, he should use his books for a, a doorstop. And I just proved to you that those people that are saying those things don't know what the heck they're talking about. And now I'm going to show you in this upcoming video tutorial series, this is the introductory, introduction, but I'm going to show you exactly how to set up your compiler, be it CodeBlocks, Visual Studio Express 2008, or Visual Studio Express 2010, to run these old codes, uh, this, this old code from these, these old books. Uh, I'm going to put out the knowledge there that, that people have been looking for for a long time, and nobody has created any kind of tutorial or lesson or anything at all that's comprehensive and includes everything needed and I am going to go ahead and fill that void as best I can. Um, this is going to be focused on x86 that is 32-bit and I never did understand what x86 has to do with 32-bit so I guess I still have some things to learn but x86 aka 32-bit programming on Windows XP SP3 using code blocks 
with Mini GW or whatever it is compiler and uh, Visual Studio 2008 and Visual Studio 2010 and those are the express editions of those and will be focused on C++ programming uh, right at the moment and eventually I will like uh, I will tie in some OpenGL stuff because now that I know how to get the DirectX libraries working it shouldn't be too much of a stretch to get OpenGL to work and that's a natural uh, graphics uh, I guess you call it API to work with uh, uh, C++ so that's the focus of this if you're using Windows 2008 or Windows 2007 or Windows Vista or some other version of Windows or if you're using Linux or Mac or Apple or some version of Apple I, I don't know if I can uh, if this video tutorial series is going to help you at all it will give you some ideas about how you're supposed to set up your compiler and, and get a hold and that's general across I'm assuming all operating systems and all platforms you need to know how to set up your compiler to get code to work uh, so you'll get good information on that, but nothing probably specific to your compiler unless your compiler happens to be code blocks, for example, or if you have some version ported over to your operating system of Visual Studio. But I can guarantee that if you're following along with Windows XP SP3 using DirectX SDK 2010, and that's from June, and DirectX Runtime 2010 from June, and uh, you're using Visual Studio Express 2010, Visual Studio Express 20, 2008, and it should also work, 2008 should work in 2005, uh, and code blocks, so then you should be able to follow along with this and get this code uh, from old books to work. So dig out your old programming books, whatever you have. For this tutorial series, my focus is going to be on tricks of the Windows game programming gurus and I apologize I don't have that title 100% correct it's a big long title and then after that I'm going to go to tricks of the 3D game programming gurus and that is a monster book that's nearly 2,000 pages so there's going to be a lot of stuff covered but uh, the main part of the tutorial is just going to be setting up showing you how to get this first program that you saw freak out compiled and running and then I will add updates as I go along and learn more if things if I run across stuff and the settings that I've taught you in these lessons and that I know right now don't work for some reason and I need to change something or do something or add something then I will provide a video tutorial update so that you're not stuck should be able to cover everything that way uh, you should note that these tricks these tricks books both of them primarily are programmed in C so what you saw running was C code with some visual C code uh, and that's Microsoft, I don't remember the specific name for it, but that's Microsoft's version of C that's used in the Visual Express SDKs. It's a different C code, uh, I think it's called ISO or standard C code being used in code blocks as far as I understand it. I still have much to learn here on this. But you're seeing C code running in C++ essentially. Uh, there is some C++ in his code but it's mostly C from what I understand it was C++ for the direct X elements and he's using direct X 8 I believe and you're watching it work with direct X 9 that's what the June 2010 uh, redistributable uh, I mean runtime and SDK are for so it's direct X 9 we're not doing anything with direct X 10 or 11 or whatever else and as far as I'm concerned, Microsoft can go hang themselves because that's just nothing I'm interested in right now. I couldn't run on this computer if I tried. I'm working on this laptop as a 2004, or 2005, or 2006, somewhere in that time period, uh, laptop. So it's very old. And it limits me to what I can do with programming. And that's one other thing that I wanted to note. A lot of people justify their stance on not using the old code, not trying to get this old code to run because let's just go use X, you know, X and A, it's easier. Well, I got news for you. X and A 3.1 and X and A 4.0 both have system requirements that if you're in any, a computer that's older than, I would say, 2008, maybe even a little bit newer than that, I don't know for sure how what the age would be, you're not going to be able to run any X and A code, period unless there's some setting that I missed but I ran across nothing but compatibility issues because I didn't have shader support 
2.0. I didn't have my card is an integrated Intel and it says it doesn't have DirectX 9 support or, or DirectX 3D or DirectX something support or Direct 3D. I don't know. It says it has some error. I mean, I can get Far Cry to run, but I couldn't get Painkiller to run. And I can get anything from the Unreal series of games to run, uh, but there's other things that I can't get to run. So this is old school programming going on over here on old school systems using old school books. So if you're in any of that newfangled stuff, well, I'm not going to be able to help you at this time. That doesn't mean that someday I'm not going to have some super powerful computer and I'm going to try to show you how to get the old code to work on that. That would be a natural continuation of the series and I'd like to do that. So. If you have Visual Studio 2012, you're on your own. And if you have Visual Studio 2005, I'm hoping that the 2008 instructions will work, but I don't know that they will, so you're pretty much on your own there as well. And hopefully it will work for you. And if you're on any other IDE, uh, any other operating system, you're going to be pretty much on your own, but the same general principles should apply. So without any further ado, we're going to get into the next part of this video, and that's setup.